Sit over there so you have some public. <laughs> 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 Submitted by April 5th, we need this board to approve a resolution uh, showing that we are uh, interested in actually spending the money on you know, a road and uh, promising to maintain it into the future. So, Mr. Mayor, I will make a motion to approve Resolution 2019-11, a resolution to establish a request for funding to designate an agent to attach to the existence of funds and to commit to implementing a maintenance program for the West Street Extension Project. Funded by the Transportation Economic Development 
Development Fund Category B program. Do you need the dollar amount in there, or is that not necessary? Yes, that's something inside the program. Okay. I'll second that motion. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion on that? Only one question. Correct. Yes, sir. And if I've got the mic before us, I'd ask Sorry. This is tied strictly to the dollars and cents that you reported at this point, or would it, if it rises, I'm not so worried about it if it goes smaller, but if it rises up, would this still cover it? <coughs> um, but are we, are we, are we locking ourselves in at only what we're anticipating here right now? Yeah, and, and we did talk about that, which is you know, one of the reasons I didn't want the dollar amount mentioned. Um, uh, because that would have been good. Yeah, okay. Um, so, first of all, we expect the EDA to cover 60%. If we don't get that grant, I don't think this project can go forward. Um, so, the 96000 or whatever amount is uh, icing on the cake. Um, you're right, it would definitely be nicer to have more money. Um, but I think, you know, to a certain extent, the less we ask, the more likely we are to get it. Um, and I'm not sure how the EDA or NDOT would think of us if we were to say, oh, well, Susan, the EDA grant, can the NDOT just give us the full amount? Um, so this 96000 represents 50% of what our portion would be if we got the full EDA grant. If we don't get the grant, then it would go away. If we don't get the EDA grants, I don't think we should pursue this. Yeah. This is not grant. We can't do the project. For those concerned with children on 8, 9, 10 of our project, or of our... Yeah. I didn't want to lose out on it if, say, our share became 97. Absolutely. And that was my one point in thought. Well, another option is we... So our total is 481. Mm -hmm. What we could do, uh, theoretically, is ask for... What is it? 240 something? 4500, which would represent 50% of the whole road part, and then hope that the EDA would still match 60% of uh, 250 or whatever it is, um, which would work out just a little bit better for us. But and, uh, I think this, the way we structured it is fair, all things considered. It's more likely, also. Okay. More likely, and of course, the whole reason we're going after this project is because ultimately, after the property is sold off, we should break even at the very least. Um, with getting 96000 from MDOT, we might actually uh, make a little bit of money. Which we could then put back into a I was just wondering um, about the $96,000 that we have to have for this. Would that be part of the fund balance or? Well, so the total for cost of the project, the giant picture I took. Um, so the total cost of the project is $1.659 million, uh, which is a lot of money. So we're hoping that the ED grant will cover 60% of that full amount. We originally started out thinking it's going to be 50 percent, um, and then apparently we found out it would be up to 60. So we're looking at about 800,000 bucks all told. Well, this MDOT grant only goes towards the road portion of that, which is 481,000. So we would be responsible for 800,000, and then this MDOT grant would lower our cost, 96,000 dollars, taking us down to about 700,000. Well. If we don't have 700000 bucks to spend on this, we'd have to bond for it. Right. And then after we bonded for it, we paid back the bond by selling the property. So that $96,000 would be a bond? No, $96,000 was a grant. Okay. That would be the amount we could get, we could collect from them now. Right. But there's still a 96000 Yeah, our portion of the 96 yeah. is part of the 800000 that we otherwise would have had to spend anyway. We're chiseling down on what it would cost us to do it ourselves. Right. That was the home. And, yeah. and the water and the sewer. Yeah. And yeah. then we could develop the whole West Street space out of the um, lagoon. And right. when we sell it, we could reach the line. Yeah. In addition to tax revenue. In addition to tax revenue. And, and a road. <laughs> and a road. 
one person hears that and then they spread it like it's gospel and then how do you correct that? It's very hard. Well, and even if, I mean, we're not, but even if it was true in Kent County, that's not a fair comparison anyways. You should be uh, comparing to similar taxable value, similar uh, population size, which I've provided you guys. Well, they were saying like straight mills, like we're the highest. Well, you also can't do that based on how you split out the I well, look at the general 42 point whatever mills and that's the county operation is sinking the whole nine yards. They don't look at R15 versus 17 for the public school. It's still much more than you know. It's just not. There's no way you can slice it and make it the highest. We're always going to get it. So. so the next one is the actual dollars. So $2,200 based on the Average residential taxable value times 44 mills, you're looking at $2,200. Um, the rate of inflation this year was 2.4%. We get at 2200 is for everything, everything, not just the city. Correct. It doesn't all come to the city. The city is $750 in change. The rest is paid out to the taxing units. But, again, they write the, the check to the city. Right. And that's the last they know about. Right. So but just as, as we are the people who need to explain this, <laughs> thank you for making this all yeah. very pretty on the website. Yeah. Yeah. It won't matter. <laughs> but you know, you know. I know. That's what I'm I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh. Next, we're looking at general fund only. 
revenue and expenses. So every year we budget for proposed revenue, expenses, hopefully you're to the good after that. Um, in 1514, we were not. We uh, were below zero there and fit into fund balance, but that $17,130 negative was covered by fund balance. Since then, we climbed and added to our fund balance um, up to 180000 uh, We added $180,054 um, last year, 2017-2018. And that is for unassigned money? That's not your mark for anything? This is just the addition that went in the fund balance. So some of that is your mark? Okay, so Correct. Is, okay. Yeah. So it includes the fire truck fund and the bridge fund? So this page, unrestricted fund balance, um, has gone up. So the previous page, we've gone up almost every year. However, this from 1516 to 1617, we we dipped down because that year council approved to set aside $50,000 to pay the MERS and $55,000 for the bridge funding. So our unassigned went down. But that fiscal year, you know, we, we added money to the fund balance. It's just your money. Yeah. Yep. So, Gerald, I'm sorry, Ms. The 130000 180000 that's money that was left over after we were done spending that yes. year. And so we yep. just saved money. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Project's not done. Well, not project's not or done. Or not made. Reducing Correct. costs. Yep. Reducing Some costs costs maybe. Yeah, it's a certain amount of projects not done. Additional not revenue and budget for maybe could be one of the <laughs> pieces as well. Yeah. That's not a project that was funded. That's no. not a problem. But if we yeah. didn't think we would have enough money, summary here. Um, the two largest sources of revenue to the general fund are tax versus tax dollars. And the second one is state share revenue. Um, property taxes this year went up. is new 
new homes being built mm -hmm. and properties transferring ownership that were uncapped. So in the year of a sale, mm -hmm. the taxable value is released up to the SEV, so the new owner pays taxes on the prior owner's SEV. So that increase in taxable value is added to our taxable value. Overall, we're just still on the upswing post the recession, correct? On property values? So a couple years I've been here, we're on the upswing, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Which is good. Yeah. For everybody. And it means more taxes, and it also yes. means you have more value in your home. Yeah. That means so land values have gone up. One of the things up. you see happening is the 32 units of homes in the prairie run north are being built. Right. I just had one uh, for zoning approval today, so, you know, that's more money. And a hotel, and a restaurant. So if you look at the totals for the general fund, from the current fiscal year, we have proposed total revenue of 1875105 For the 1920 fiscal year, it's 1853843 that's a decrease. However, you have to look at the current fiscal year's budget was balanced by an appropriation from fund balance, $159,000. $130,000 of that was the transfer to the sidewalk fund for the sidewalk project out here. That's still in this fiscal year. Hopefully that will be wrapped up by June 30th. Um, probably will not have to transfer all 130000 because the bid for the whole project came in lower than anticipated. So once you take out that 159 from the current year, it's actually an increase in revenue. True revenue. Sure. Um, state share revenue went up 4.5%. Uh, we bring in 351000 in state share revenue. This is higher than what it on the first page of the general fund, you have 1617 activity at 1,715,000. 17, 18th year, we brought in 1,718,000. So if you look at it in total, our revenue has gone up. Mm -hmm. Which is, I mean, I'm not saying it's huge, but I mean, again, we're, what I would say is we're headed in the right direction. Right. Especially if you want to do things like sacrifice. Any questions on other general fund revenue? Mm -hmm. I get the big ticket items there. Yeah, very much. The next, uh, Quite a few pages is each department in the general fund. Um, city council, really you're looking at the same budget as current year, um, has basically the salaries for city council on it. A little bit of education and training. Well, we have, you know, for you folks on the council. We need to go do some more training. Yeah. Right? training so. We need to go do we that. Do it. Um, next we have city manager. Um, again, pretty much the same budget. The only difference there, um, in the new fiscal year, we're proposing a vehicle allowance in there. And what would that mean? So that's what we're budgeting for. If we don't have three, if the surplus goes to fund balance. Right. And we might have a lot more people. Okay. Yeah, right. we don't know if these new, you know, like, registered and then you vote right. is really going to do to the expenses for the election. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to prepare. Right. We're going to have to order a lot more ballots per election. 
injunction. Right. Okay, so that's your vote. And then if we hit a threshold, we have to get another voting machine? <coughs> yes, essentially. We're at that cost? We're not quite there yet. Um, we're at about 2,200. The threshold is the same budget. The only um, addition there is for qualification. We talked about at the last council meeting and we'll be talking again at the next council meeting. Yeah, that's the thing we're supposed to do every time. Yep. Uh, board review. This is uh, to pay our board review people that show up three times a year uh, as required for the assessor. General administration. Um, there's a lot that happens in this department. Um, all of my uh, finance and treasure, um, educational expenses, that kind of stuff, uh, fall into this category. Um, I did want to point out, if you remember not too long ago, we changed our telephone contract uh, to Verizon. Mm -hmm. We have 6000 in the current fiscal year budget. Through December 31st, we only spent 1600 Wow. So we're really saving by going to Verizon. You are That's huge. huge. That's yeah, thanks to Rebecca. Rockstar. Yep. Rockstar. So you'll, you'll see those savings. A lot of the funds have a telephone expense line item, and you'll see those savings in all the funds. And how many months do you actually need to buy another voting machine? Move on. Next, we have IT. Um, we have a contract with IT Right for our um, support for all of our computers. However, we just discovered recently that um, most of us have Windows 7 on our computers, and as of January 1, 2020, it will no longer be supported. Yeah. <laughs> so in this budget, the last line item there, you see six new computers. Yeah. Um, it's a Windows 7 issue. Yeah. Uh, we'll actually be buying more than six. Six will hit this department, um, but we have one DPW, I think Marty's on the list, They'll be charged to their own departments. Yeah. This is the IT that covers mainly the front office computers. Sure. Um, Definitely yeah. needed. If I can interrupt, we bought a new computer last year and now all of Windows 10 on our main computer, but our backup computer is still Windows 7. And Rose looked at me when Tara said that Marty's on the list. <laughs> I've been on her to list them all. <laughs> No. Not going back to no. Unfortunately, we kind of inherited 
we've been slowly trying to do is now we move towards a more cohesive, professional electronic, you know, backup system uh, with professional companies that, you know, give us money. Yeah. 
farmers attended a couple trainings with our yeah. members. Well, we do have a few members. Yeah. And are you are you still in the process of getting trained as a planner? Uh, not as a planner. That requires four years of school. Um, I did become a certified uh, citizen planner. Okay. Um, I did have the option of becoming a master planner, but it doesn't really do anything for me. So. But yeah, I, I I continue to go to those classes. Street lighting is next. So this is for all of the city street lights, not Main Street, but all of the other ones. Thirty-seven thousand dollars a year will be paid for through consumer energy. Energy not too long ago um, for street lights and inside lighting. Um, are we on LED? We are not, but we talked to them about LEDs because, um, according to, to Todd, um, Sergeant Crooks, we have like 25 street lights burnt out right now. We did. So, um, I mean, I don't know the exact number, but there's yeah. a lot. Our solution, though, is to go on their website, put in a physical address. And as they have time, they'll come and fix it. Correct. Okay. But I mean, because they're not guaranteeing us LED bulbs, you know. Can we buy LED bulbs? No, not buy the bulbs. They're totally under their contract with their light, their fix it. So the only one wow. that we're changing out are our ornamentals on Main Street. Yeah. So, but, if, but we have to pay the electric bill even though we have no control over it. We are. It's, it's a lease on the light. I call them and tell them it burns all the time, and they said, well, you're not paying for the power use, it's just the light. Are we paying for it if it's not lit at all? Yep. Right, because we lease per light fixture. And then we call them. That seems not right. They could all be burned out for the whole time, and like, you still have to pay the bill? They send a crew around when we get them to work. Yeah, and with all the wind damage, I'm sure they're... And, and I understand this. They, don't, they don't respond quicker to a resident calling than a city. So, residents, please call yep. if the light is out near you. There's also a place, a website, to pick up people who get it. Matter of fact, you should probably make that available. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 there's a lot of them out. Community promotions. Um, this we basically siphon through, right? Okay. We don't actually generate most of this money. It's like money that is for what? It's for our promotions. Tax dollars. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes, I thought it was things like people pay for a fee to use no. the park, and then it no. goes back through. No, the end of promotions is stuff like us paying for certain things for the Red Final Festival. Or right. Or there. candy for Halloween. Or yeah. Yeah. Historical Museum. Oh, so the museum fund goes in there. That's good. Would that also cover the traffic control for the museum? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's see that. Me too. Next we have parks. Um, this is to maintain our parks, Morley and uh, Rico Park and now our little Papa Park. Yeah. <laughs> we have 2000 bucks in the budget for benches and flower pots for this coming year. Oh, so good. Hopefully we'll get that done. So it'll actually be a park instead of just a concrete pad. Yeah. I will probably get some annual flowers that I can donate. Is that a thing? Flowers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We started them and they were far more robust than we expected. And we have special plans for them now. Well, I will tell you that the DDA is working on their own budget. They want to budget flowers for all of the flower boxes up and down Main Street. So depending on what kind of uh, uh, cost estimates they get from their um, where their flower supplier is going to be, they might be willing to do the ones here in the pocket. Oh, okay. Stop. I see your garden. I know better. Next we have, um, it says DPW employee benefits. Yeah. Not sure where this category came from. The uniforms for DPW get charged here, and then uh, workers' comp for 
for employees that work a whole host of places that you can't really pinpoint. So, 2600 bucks. Then we have transfers out. This is our... Um, We're going to make you crawl around in, in crazy places underneath the rotten buildings and whatever else Jerry is talking about. We should buy a new one. Right, no. Whatever. We should... We should not make you wear your own clothes to go crawl around these things. Just say it. So transfers out. This is the, we transfer money to uh, the 301 fund. It's the general obligation bond fund. If you have a general obligation bond, the check can't be cut from the general fund. I don't know why. We transfer it to the general obligation fund and cut the check out of that. Okay. So we're transferring $243,150 to that fund. Um, Act 425 transfers, that's the township share. Okay. That's, we're paying per millage to them right. for all those parcels that we brought into our jurisdiction. Uh, no transfer to the DBA this year. They're collecting their own tax revenue. And then, um, like I said, hopefully the sidewalk project will be done uh, by June 30th. So no transfer next year for that. I thought that we could point out that it's now the DBA is funding themselves. They are technically taking money away from what otherwise would be in our general fund. So I don't know what the exact proportion is, but they made uh, 21-ish thousand dollars this year. Yeah. So probably 16, 17 thousand of that would have been in general fund otherwise. So I'm going back to the CIP page for the general fund just to recap. Um, like I mentioned at the top. Well, I, if I could just verbally, it's, it's at the beginning of the general fund. I thought it was on the end. We, you don't need to find it. So there's 55200 like I mentioned, for the fire department. That's just adding to the reserves to buy the future, um, let's see, the county fire truck replacement, um, the turnout gear, the rescue vehicle, and there's there's eight thousand in there for the fire auxiliary. Are we budgeting enough for the county fire truck? Uh, what's that? Are we budgeting enough each year? Um, the schedule that um, Marty and I, I mean, it's going to be close. You know. That would be on what type of truck you buy.
So all of that is in the 1920 proposed budget. So we move on to any questions on general fund before we move on to the street funds? Darling, we should probably mention that when you and I talked, the 8,000 in the parks was, you can't get anything in the park for 8,000. Um, we're looking at saving this and building this fund over time so we can do some park improvements and new equipment. Oh, some bigger pieces of, yeah. you know, playground equipment that need to be replaced or whatever. Sure. But if we need something in the current year, we've got 8,000. Right. Whatever's left, we're going to keep earmarking. Okay. For future. In, in, in problematic issues in the past, we would say here, in, in all intents and purposes, we want to take that 8,000. If we don't use it, we want to save it to add another 8 next year, and then come in the year, it's swept off and gone. So we want to make sure that that's the intent that this council knows to make the proper motions so that this often can set aside. That's what I was hoping to accomplish, yeah. Do so so we need some label if I equip it like we do with the truck? Do we have to call it? That's what happens if we have a fund for a fire truck. And there ain't none. It's supposed to be carried over there and all the things are when I went and asked the financial director at the time, said, well, we don't have to say that. That's as simple as there's no earmark each year. Just have to go Nobody told me to carry it over. And we didn't have to. So, my several accounts. So just so you know, we need to be that. Yeah, probably, the June, probably the June council meeting, I'll come to you with a list. Great. You know, at, the, at that point, but whatever the balance is as of June 30, it'll be here March. Because I was going to say, do we need to put, like, we do for fire trucks, do we need to we'll call it equipment or benches? Is it even named? So give it that Park maintenance? So improvement. Yeah. Park improvement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you know if it needed to be an That way we're not tying our hands if it's a slide one year and it's a I'm down. Next, you know. Just say it. Just say it. So just to be very clear, because I, I want to I want to understand. So I mean unlike the event that you're not here next year, we can do the same thing. Um, so if we make that its own line item, park improvement that line, then it cannot be swept out into the general fund at the end of the fiscal year. Correct. Okay, so that's what we're So under the parks doing. department, okay. park improvements eight thousand is its own line item. So, so whatever he, he wanted to save up for a steam powered fire truck toy <laughs> for the park. <laughs> then we can do that. So you'll see like on your monthly reports on the balance sheet at the bottom, it'll say unassigned fund balance, eight hundred and some thousand. Then you'll see county fire truck fire auxiliary, all those individual line items and what the balance is. One more and then I promise I'm done with it. Okay, so in if, if we pass the budget as it is just now, and it has its own line item in the budget just now, is that sufficient? Or do you need a separate motion to make that its own line item? No, it is its own line item. Okay, it's sufficient as mm -hmm. it is? Yeah. Okay. However, I understand we do use money out of that fund for park improvements throughout the year if we need to. Oh, so of course. Right. Yeah. I just want to make yeah. sure that at the end of the year, whatever you work hard to pay, right. you don't just lose what's left. Right. We don't just lose what's yeah. left. Right. Yeah. It's, it's continued to grow. That's the law of that council. We're talking about parks. One of the things that DPW is working on for me is we're trying to put together some major park projects uh, so that we have a good idea of what it would cost if that's something we want to do. One of the ones that we're working on right now is a Super high quality uh, basketball court. Um, we're also going to look at a dog park. We're also going to look at updating all the play equipment in Wriggle Park. Um, so that at least on the shelf we can say, hey, we saved 25000 bucks. Is that enough to put up a dog park or something? So, just so you guys are aware, you will see that as part of your regular agenda when we're ready to Great. Thank you. This is great. But yet we have a portion of park right down here that isn't covered and you have a group of volunteers trying to cover that for you. At some point in time I would like to see something dedicated to them, the Princess Fairfield, mm -hmm. to help maintain the track, maintain the buildings and so forth. It does become a bit of a struggle for them to generate funds, which I have been trying to resign from 
I just got done having a meeting where I can turn my resignation. Uh, I don't want to think that's the reason, but uh, it is a struggle trying to do it. And they're proud to be doing it. It'd just be nice if we give them a fitness plan or a long one. Have they been We have not. They've taken that word, what was the determination by the board at the time that they were going to maintain it. They have been maintaining it and improving it. It would be nice because it is city property, they're volunteering everything, they're providing for it. If we could give them, like I say, a fitness, a thousand bucks, to be in a hundred, whatever year, and we all pay coming up here for this new. And that's one of the things I put forward in such meeting with them also. They need to get in here and talk to you. Yep. And I'd like to see a pretty good financial rundown that I don't think we've seen from them in a while. Mm -hmm. So that's down the road, so when they come back, Yep, the street funds, so just to recap, um, the money that comes into our street funds is the gas and weight tax from the state of Michigan. It can only be spent on street funds. It can't be transferred to the general fund to be spent on the parks, anything like that. Um, we're looking at this year, I apologize, I do on my sheet have some pretty pictures right here that aren't showing up here. Um, Bill went and took a picture of uh, First Street and Second Street today that, that's... Well, yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't think you need to see a picture, but... Um, church, oh my gosh. So we are looking to put $100,000 into um, major streets this year. Which we like received from estimates from FTC and H that would probably cover three blocks. Okay. $100,000. <laughs> three blocks. So we'll probably start on First Street, the three worst or what, however we figure. Um, we still need to do some borings to see how much yeah. we might be able to stretch it a little bit further if we don't need to go quite as deep. So. Do we have any lists on case the ratings and all of that? <laughs> We do, but it's, it's outdated. It's not even worth the best thing that we'll do when, when we decide where we're going to go is go take a look. Um, for major streets, I think it's probably going to be first and second because they are falling apart. Yeah. So that's going to be our two priorities. And Ms. Falcon, you found $40,000 additional in this year's budget for major street reconstruction, right? Well, that's the 40000 I I went back and looked, looked after you and I talked. Um, that we're not transferring to local streets to keep in the general fund for those two projects. But let's talk about that for a minute right now. On the bottom right down here, you'll see this detail about the bridge, Main Street Bridge Project, right. and the Main Street Project. Right. So the bridge, we have been told by NDOT, will be funded in 2021. The total project is $1.4 million. The city share is only 5%. Or oh. 73,200. Oh, very nice. So, up uh, for the last couple of years, well, last year the general fund earmarked 55,000. Right. The major street fund earmarked 70,000. So, we already have our match for that project. Wow. I don't think we expected that. If you keep going down, though, this bottom box is the Main Street project. This has changed a little bit. We were told by who is funding this one? Yeah, Metro Council. Yeah, we got this through GDMC. Yeah, yeah but the, it's a federal share grant uh, project. It's a SHIP project. It's a SHIP funding. They, they have put us on their rural mill and resurface list, where originally we wanted to do a, wanted to do a complete reconstruct. Mm -hmm. So if we go through with the rural mill and resurface, that total project is 391000 Federal share is 350 leaves our share of 41000 We've already got that. Yeah. If we do the, com the original project, though, was a complete reconstruct, estimated at $1.6 million. Our share was 25%, or 415000 So that's what we were saving up how, for. How long does the, I mean, this is a Bill or Jerry question, how long does the road mill, how much time does it die? 20 years, yeah. Does it really? Yeah. What's the limit on that? What do you mean, sorry, the limit? Yeah, it started at church, church all the way to 18, if I remember. Yeah. Yeah. So that would seem like the yeah. better way to go. Yeah. Yeah. But 
But one thing we'll talk about later is we've got some water repairs we have to take care of underneath Main Street before. Uh, oh. Those are minor. 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 Yeah, minor. Mm -hmm. yeah. My understanding of Main Street is that it's kind of funding coming in is what Dara and I were talking about with uh, the worst being the first to get done obviously and then working from there until we get decent roads as long as the money's coming in we can't we'll keep going. It's also a traffic count issue. Uh, yeah. What is it Church Street we were on? So uh, Mr. Yeah. Rose and I were out looking at streets just the other day and that section I think is Church um, and Fifth. Yeah. It's in horrible condition. So it's very low traffic. And so do we want to spend that kind of money for very few cars or High sure. Street, which has much higher traffic? Right, sure. right. Yeah. So when, when we patch this, it's just, I mean, I, I understand the trucks probably rip it all back up throughout the winter. 